Hey there, Sagittarius. This is Renee, and welcome back. Sagittarius, this is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. What is unfolding for you in the next 48? Okay, if you have Sagittarius anywhere in your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this reading is for you. Let's jump right in. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius Spirit? Message for Sagittarius the next 48 hours. Okay, we have Ancestor Spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. Beautiful. At the bottom we have Life Force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Okay. I see you said. You may be digging deep. You may be going through some kind of healing. Going through some kind of child healing. Healing your inner child. Healing something from your childhood maybe. Moving past it. Okay, give me more messages for Sagittarius. Okay, we have don't let your pride get in the way. Leo energy. Having strength. Having ability. We also have prosperity lies ahead. So there's something that is going to bring you some kind of prosperity. Some kind of abundance. Okay, one more message, please. What do we have for Sagittarius next 48 hours? What does Sagittarius need to know, please? Okay. We have vulnerability and freedom. So something is going to set you free. Something that you are setting yourself free from. You're doing it within, you, you feel like it's divine timing. That this is happening. And you may feel like it's now the time to release some kind of energy from your life. To release it maybe for, for good instead of holding it on to it or bottling it up inside. See, let's get some more messages for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? Spirit, for the next 48 hours. What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, we have the Hierophant. Standing on what you believe in. The Queen of Wands. And the Four of Cups. I feel like there's a need for you to stand on your beliefs. Stand on your morals. Kind of have the courage. Have the confidence in yourself to stand and take notice. You know, I, I feel like you you may be in this stuck energy with this Four of Cups energy. There, you may feel a little unfulfilled. So I feel like Spirit is giving you this gift of healing, of courage, of strength. Gaining your confidence, you know, finding that spark. Kind of gaining a new emotion of the situation. Hmm. More messages for Sagittarius. More messages for Sagittarius, please. Spirit. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Wands. Wow. And the Three of Cups. Okay. So I feel like some kind of new discovery is opening. Some new beginning. You're beginning to open up your heart. You're beginning to open up to new passions. New actions. You know, taking initiative. Taking action. But I feel like opening up your heart to new experiences is, is bringing more valuable people into your life. 
it's like a reason to celebrate a reason to surround yourself with the people who love you and the people that you love um the three of cups is also my card of being fully supported by your angels the universe people who love you you know you have that support you have that stability beautiful energy some kind of new beginning is bringing you a lot more stability in your life beautiful energy okay Sagittarius let's get more messages let's dive a little deeper what else do we have for Sagittarius please for the next 48 hours what messages do we have for the next 48 okay two cards wanted to come out okay we have the eight of cups and we have the two of wands so with the eight of cups and the two of wands I really feel like you're you're making the decision to release something something that you may have been holding on to for a long time but I feel like um, now you're at a crossroads you're able to release whatever this is you finally have the strength you finally have the courage to look towards the future and make more plans that doesn't have this included in it you're totally leaving whatever this is behind and you're taking this new path this new journey beautiful energy let's see i'm gonna put those two together because those two came out together okay we also have the knight of pentacles so I, I feel like this is really finding your patience in a situation uh, this also may be some kind of new investment that you are investing your energy into but I feel like you're moving away from that. You know, the the pinnacle, he's the slowest moving of the tarot. He's almost at a standstill. He's really not moving very quickly. He's going like slow and steady so that he can see exactly what's before him. So he can make the wise choices, the wise investments for what is best for him. You know, and I feel like that's what you're doing, Sagittarius. I feel like you're going slow and steady to build up your, um, what you want to invest yourself in, your time, your energy. Okay? We also have the Six of Pentacles. More Pentacles here, okay? Um, something is, is giving you more stability. The, the Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. Something is giving just as much as it's taking. So it's balanced. There's help or generosity that's being offered. You know? We also have the Four of Swords at the bottom. So I feel like with this Four, four of Swords energy, I feel like you're, you're recovering from some sort of situation. But I also feel like you're you're making yourself an investment you're investing more energy in yourself you know what makes Sagittarius feel good what is best for Sagittarius you know and it's very beautiful energy Sagittarius it's it's beautiful to finally put the focus on yourself for once because I feel like maybe you don't do that very often you know Okay, let's get more messages for Sagittarius. What other messages do we have for Sagittarius, please? Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. The next 48 hours. What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay. We have the, the, ten, of, the ten of Wands. So, I feel like, you know, you may have been stressing over the situation. It may have been a little overwhelming at... at one point you may have felt like there was a lot of weight you were carrying because of some kind of situation that you had to release but i feel like you're moving past this energy you're you're kind of letting go of those wands look he has 10 wands here well he's flying now he's moving he's he's moving into this new direction and he only has one wand 
So I feel like you're laying down your burdens and you're moving forward in your journey. This um, Knight of Wands, this is also like going on an adventure, going on a a destination, moving out of a comfort zone, you know? So I I feel like you're laying down those burdens and you're leaving with just the things that you totally hold close to your heart. Totally what you desire most. You're not worrying about those other things that may not, you know, be as important to you. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, Three of Cups, we have the Star card. So I feel like you're gaining your healing. You're gaining your stability. There's something that you're working on that's bringing you a lot more value. You're putting a lot of work into the situation. It may be that you're working on yourself because you're finding your truth. You are becoming more self-sufficient being totally honest with people and yourself you know I, I, I feel like whatever this is that you're building you're building up your confidence your hope you're feeling more renewed in this situation you know you may be more open to a miracle than you really believe okay let's take a look at this last row here what does Sagittarius need to know in the next 48 hours. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Okay, we have two cards that want to come out. Wow, okay. Okay, we have, <laughs> look at this. We have the Six of Pentacles here. We also have the Six of Pentacles here. But look, we have the Lovers and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like you are you have opened up the avenue to love. And I feel like this, you know, it's clarifying the Six of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. So something is making you feel very balanced. Very emotionally fulfilled. You know, I feel like all of your needs are being met. Because with the Six of Pentacles, like I said, this is balance. This is equal give and take. So you have come across or you are going to come across the partnership, this love interest that is truly your counterpart. You know, they... They want to give you the same amount of energy that you're giving them. You know, it's beautiful energy. Beautiful energy because I feel like, you know, the, the lover's card is not just an ordinary love. The lover's card is a soulmate, a destined partner. You know, this may be a long-lasting partner. Okay, let's get one more card for Sagittarius. A little bit more clarity, please. Tell me a little bit more about this situation for Sagittarius in the next 48 hours. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. So, you know, by by letting go of those burdens and moving on with just the, the one that was most important with you, just, you know, letting go of that extra weight on your back. You're, you've got success. You've got victory. You're moving the right way. You know, you're being celebrated. You're finding more happiness. Okay, with the star and the eight of pentacles, you have the six of pentacles. So there is balance here. Look at this. You've got the Six of Pentacles three times in this reading. So there is balance. Whatever is happening is happening for a reason. It's putting you on equal scales. You know, something is being balanced. The, the, tail, the, the scale isn't tilted one way or another. It's equal. It's equal. 
So someone is given the same amount of energy as you are. And I feel like, you know, Sagittarius, when you love, you love big. You know, you don't just go into the situation with no small ideas. You go into the situation really wanting the world, you know. So th this is really, I really love this. Okay, with this lover's card and the six of pentacles, you have the three of swords. But look at this three of swords. This three of swords, the swords have fell away from the heart. They're no longer piercing the heart. They're, they're now, you know, dropping down. And the heart is being bandaged, bandaged. The heart is now healing. So I feel like with this love interest, I feel like this person who's coming into your life is showing you how to be healed. Is showing you how to truly be A person who can be trusted. A person who can be valued. You know? So I feel like whatever pains that you had in the past, Sagittarius. This person that's coming into your life. This lover is healing the past wounds. You know, you are getting that full recovery from any heartbreak or disappointment. So I'm really loving this really loving this and i feel like with this knight of pentacles you have been patiently waiting for someone to truly value you the way that you feel you should be valued so i love this for you okay let's get some oracle cards for sagittarius what does sagittarius need to know for the next 48 hours. Matter of fact, this may happen before Valentine's or close to Valentine's. Okay. Um, we have life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Ooh. There's something that you are feeling the heat. We also have inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. Okay, let's get another card for Sagittarius. Another card for Sagittarius, please. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. So, you're going to find out the answers. And look at this. I believe this is the second time we got this card in this reading. Prosperity lies ahead. So there's something that, that you are going to value so very much. Something that's going to bring you abundance and happiness. And abundance and happiness doesn't always mean money or material goods. Abundance and happiness can also mean happy home, happy family, happy health. You know, um, and whatever this love is coming through, that could be your abundance. Okay, let's get another message for Sagittarius. Divine timing. Yeah, I feel like, it, you know, you had to go through the lessons that you had to go through in order for this situation to finally unfold. It was, it's coming to you in its own divine timing. Um, at the bottom you have raise your vibration. So, Sagittarius, stay on the positive side. Think positive thoughts. You know, don't give in to negative energy. Okay? Okay, this is what I have for you, Sagittarius, for the next 48 hours. So, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Many blessings to you, Sag. Until your next reading, love and light.